is the listening side of Putt-Putt's Night Before Christmas. Now sit back and listen closely as Putt-Putt and his dog Pep meet St. Nicholas for the very first time on a snowy Christmas Eve. was the night before Christmas in Putt-Putt's garage. All was quiet amid the festive hodgepodge. The stockings were hung on the shelf with such care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Putt-Putt snuggled with Pep. Both were dreaming sweet dreams of sugar plums, car oil, and chocolate ice cream. But then something woke Putt-Putt up with a start. He knew what it was way down deep in his heart. He looked out the window, and what should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, he knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! So up to the rooftop the moonlit sleigh flew, filled with hubcaps and toys, and St. Nicholas too. Then just as Putt-Putt heard a big crashing sound, Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. <coughs> he was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Putt-Putt thought St. Nick would be merry and glad, but instead the man looked so pensive and sad. With no pack on his back and a tear in his eye, he said, my sleigh broke down and no longer can fly. On the top of your roof is where it is stuck. Oh, this is a stroke of extremely bad luck. Putt-Putt said, don't you worry, I can help you. Say I'll fix your sleigh and Pep will help too. A jolly old smile spread across the man's face. The tears in his eyes disappeared without a trace. If you fix the sleigh so that I can take leave, you and Pep will be heroes on this Christmas Eve. So finding his tools and then gathering them up, Putt-Putt went over to awaken his pup. Come on, Pep, we must go fix St. Nick's sleigh, and we'd better be quick, we don't have all day. With that, little Putt-Putt drove out in the snow. Come on, Pep! As Pep bounded after him, raring to go. Putt-Putt looked up on the roof and saw it was true. There was a broken down sleigh and eight reindeer, too. Oh my goodness! But how would the two of them get way up there? They hadn't a ladder. They didn't have stairs. Suddenly, Putt-Putt spotted a barrel and a board. He knew then and there that they must be explored. Then setting the board down on the barrel's round side, he made a seesaw Pep and he could both ride. They sat on one end. It went down with a thump. Then they knew that they needed to find someone plump. In the blink of an eye, old St. Nicholas was there. Ho, ho, ho. He sat on the seesaw. Our friends flew in the air. Hot ziggity! Putt-Putt and Pep tumbled into the sleigh and pulled out the tools to save Christmas Day. It seems the sleigh's runner, so shiny and bright, broke off when St. Nick had landed that night. So Pep held the runner up fast in his paws while Putt-Putt worked briskly with wrenches and saws. Quick as a wink, the sleigh was fixed up just right. Once again, it was such a beautiful sight. From down in the garage, St. Nick called for his pack. And into the chimney, Putt-Putt dropped the big sack. Then he and his pup followed after it, too. Here we come. 
Pepper shut down the chimney and shouted, Yahoo! Pep instantly leaped out and gave a quick lick on the merry old cherry-like nose of Saint Nick. <laughs> Saint Nicholas thanked them for saving the day. Their kindness he didn't know how to repay. Putt-Putt told the dear man that he owed not a thing, for helping save Christmas had made his heart sing. St. Nick filled their stockings right up to the top with dog bones, a car phone, and oil soda pop. Then laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But Putt-Putt heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night! <laughs> <laughs>